Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin earned his reputation during a 41-year career in the U.S. Army, but it wasn't until after his retirement that he earned the bulk of his $7 million fortune. Austin grew up in Thomasville, Georgia, the son of a postal worker and homemaker. His father was a World War II veteran, and Austin planned to serve in the Army for a few years before attending law school. But after graduating from West Point in 1975, Austin committed fully to military service. He became a captain in 1979 and a lieutenant colonel in 1992. Eventually, he took over leading roles in Afghanistan and Iraq and became commander of all U.S. forces in 2010. Just three years later, Austin was tapped to lead the U.S. Central Command, granting him oversight of operations in both Afghanistan and Iraq. By the time he left the military in 2016, the commander had earned a lucrative pension worth an estimated $1.8 million. Then, he began his transformation into something of a professional board member. In August of 2016, Austin became a director of the hospitality management company Guest Services Incorporated. A month later, he joined the board of United Technologies Corporation, and over the next five years, he made $643,000 in cash and an estimated $1.1 million in equity awards. The next year, he joined another board, this time for a nonprofit called the Carnegie Corporation of New York. Most outside directors did so for free, but Austin collected at least $39,000 in his almost four years at the company. Just a few months later, he added another position, director at steel manufacturer Nucor. He served in that role until the day he became defense secretary, earning $411,000 in cash and about $500,000 in stock awards. With all of this new money, Austin decided it was time to spend. In 2018, he and his wife purchased a $2.6 million home in the DC suburbs. A month later, he joined the board of Tenet Healthcare Corporation, where he would earn $328,000 in cash and stock awards that eventually sold for an estimated $1.5 million. He also served on the National Security Advisory Board of defense contractor Booz Allen Hamilton and the Advisory Committee of Fidelity Investments. Together, these roles brought him at least $240,000. Cash slowed when Austin became Secretary of Defense in January. He sold off his stocks and pocketed more than $2 million while committing to recuse himself from matters involving Raytheon Technologies. According to Austin, he does not intend to return to defense contractor boards like Raytheon's. Quite frankly, the defense secretary said during his confirmation hearing, I'll be too old.